In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get ungated on Amazon, but before we do that, I want to cover three things about what are gated categories, why are they important, and then how to get ungated will be the very last thing. So let's go ahead and jump right in, but if this is your very first time to the channel, consider subscribing and also give this video a thumbs up. So the very first thing is, what are, what are gated categories? And sorry about my handwriting, I know it sucks, right? So what are gated categories? The very first thing that you have to understand is that gated categories are simply categories that you can sell under on Amazon. And they are things such as beauty, such as, uh, you know, I know that like sex toys is gated. Um, other uh, toy categories or some of toy products are gated because the, gate, the toy category isn't all ungated, neither is it all gated. So they are just simply categories on Amazon that you can sell under, but that need some special approvals. Now, some categories or some gated categories, you can get approvals for just like this. Some gated categories, it's a little bit of a more of a bigger hassle. Uh, things like medical devices, it's a little bit more difficult to get ungated. Things like toys, it's a little less difficult to get ungated, right? So why is that important for you to understand? Is that because when you are trying to sell your products on Amazon, you have to make sure that you are not selling under a gated category before you ship your products to Amazon. Otherwise, Amazon will hold your inventory until you are able to get your product ungated or your account ungated in that category, right? So that's very important. Otherwise, you would need to remove your product, ship them back to the warehouse where they came from, and then now you're out that time and that money that you had to go back and forth, right? And then maybe you can never even sell your product on Amazon, so it's very important for you to understand what gated categories are. Now, if you want to know what are some of the ungated categories that are safe for you to sell in and don't need any special permits, in this channel, I have other videos where I talk about the ungated categories that you can simply launch under today. Now, the very second thing is, why are they important? Right? Why are gated categories important? You might be asking, it's like, well, Bashar, if it's complicated for me to sell under those categories, why not just ignore them altogether and then just sell under categories that are ungated? And that is absolutely correct. That is one thing that you can do. And if you are a complete beginner, that's probably what you should do. But if you have one or two products launched and you want to really expand your business, going into gated categories is actually one pretty cool thing. The reason being is because a lot of people trying to get into selling on Amazon are gonna go for the ungated vanilla categories that anyone can go into. But the gated categories have less competition simply because it is more difficult to get into those categories. So that's one safe or not safe, but that is one, um, uh, what's, the, what's the thing? One advantage, it's competition, right? The second thing is usually they are higher priced items. So what I've seen usually that they are higher priced items, meaning there are bigger profit margins. So bigger profit margins. Right? And then the third thing is that you're not gonna you're not gonna have issues in the future where Amazon will come back and say, well, you know, you did you said this thing here, you said that thing here, because I've seen it more often than not. We we launch a product and then something happens where it's patented, and then someone comes back and then simply says, hey, my product is patented, you can't sell anymore, you have to take it down. Sometimes um, you know, customers or other competitors will um, you know, just on purpose will file what it's called a, uh, like an infringement uh, report or saying that, you know, you're selling a misleading product, right? So just, um, I guess, uh, potential issues. So avoid, avoid potential issues, right? Because once you have, because once you have launched a product under a, a gated category, means you have gotten approval from Amazon to do so and because they're not just going to let you sell it there unless you have gotten approval. So those are just some of the three things that 
it, you know, it, it's why it's beneficial. But again, if you are a complete beginner, you've never sold on Amazon, it probably would make sense for you to go and sell in a category that is a vanilla category where you can just launch a product. And again, we have other videos in this channel where we go into that. Now, the very third thing is, you guys see it? Number three is how to get ungated, right? So it's like, all right, so got it. I understand now what gated categories are. Number two, I understand why they are important. But now I want to know how do I get ungated in those gated categories where there is more potential. Before I go into that, however, if you are somebody who wants to learn about selling on Amazon, but this stuff is kind of a little complicated for you, or maybe you're attempted and it's like, I can't really figure it out. I would rather have somebody walk me through the entire process and just handhold me. Below this video, there's a link that'll take you to a workshop where it'll explain to you exactly what BJK University is all about and how we can truly help you and walk you through the entire process and then how our enrollment coaches can also help you. So be sure to click on that link. So the third thing is how to get ungated. Now there are a few things that you can do as an Amazon seller to get ungated under a category and it all depends on the category you are trying to get ungated for. So if it's something like a toys category, which is sim I guess it's um, more simple than other categories to get ungated for. All right, so the very first thing is like, I guess we'll call them A, right? So this is category A. So category A is like the ones that are simpler to get ungated for. What you do is you wanna to go to a supplier that sells your product or a manufacturer, preferably someone in the USA, right? Because if you go to someone in China, you know, you might, it might take a while negotiating or whatever, but it doesn't matter because you only really need an invoice. So what you do is you say, hey, I want to buy 10 units from you, right? Can you please make me an invoice? So you just simply uh, get an invoice, get invoice for say 10 units, right? Now here's one thing, you have to make sure in this invoice that the supplier has your information, your seller information. So your address, your email address, the name of your company, everything that is exactly the same as your Amazon store. So make sure to write this down, okay? Because this is very important. Otherwise you will not get ungated. The invoice needs to come with the same information that is on your Amazon account. Otherwise Amazon will say, well, one plus one doesn't equal two, right? These are two different accounts. So that's one way where you can get ungated for the simpler um, uh, categories, like toys categories. Now I do understand for the toys category, it's usually harder to get ungated for in Q4. So that's October, November, December. So I'd probably wait until January to get ungated. Now B category, this is the tougher, you know, categories that you need to uh, uh, get ungated for. And those are things like uh, medical supplies, uh, some food products, um, you know, and other categories that are gated that are a little more difficult. Now, depending on the category, you're gonna need things like FDA approvals. Um, what else? Most of them is FDA approval, but there are other approvals, approvals or certifications that are required. And usually when you go to your supplier, your supplier should know what are the things that are required. Now, one thing for you to note, is that the suppliers that have those approvals, their price is going to be more expensive than the suppliers that do not have those approvals, right? Because these suppliers went out of their way to get those approvals and probably cost them money. And they also know that other suppliers probably don't. So usually 20% only or 30% at max of the suppliers will have those approvals. So it's very important for you to know beforehand going into it that, okay, I understand the segregated category, this is the kind of certification I need. Now I'm gonna go and find a supplier and then you simply do the same exact thing that you did here. But plus, whoa, plus this certification. So you get the 10 units plus the certification, making sure that the invoice has the name, the company, the address, everything just like is in your Amazon account. And obviously you need to have your Amazon account set up first before you could do any of that. All right, so just kind of a recap on what we talked about here. So the very first thing is what are gated categories? They are categories that you can sell in on Amazon, but you need some approvals, right? 
Why is it important for you to sell under those categories? Because number one, they are less competitive. Number two, uh, there's bigger profit margins. You can make more money. And number three, you simply avoid potential problems because you have already kind of done the legwork in the beginning. The third thing is why, um, how to get ungated. Depends on the category. Number, uh, uh, the very first uh, section of the categories is the simpler ones to get ungated for, like the toys category. You simply go to the supplier, you request a quote or an invoice for 10 units. Um, you don't even need to pay for it. Uh, an invoice for 10 units, making sure the information in that invoice matches everything on your Amazon seller's account. So obviously you need a seller's account before you do any of that. And then number two, if it's uh, the, or number three B, if it's the more complicated categories, again, if you're a complete beginner, I would probably not suggest this, maybe this, but not this, um, then you would need specific approvals. And then you want to know what approvals are beforehand then when you find your suppliers, make sure that they have those approvals. You get a copy of that approval and you get an invoice for 10 units. You go back to Amazon, you say, hey, Amazon, here's my stuff. Please get me ungated so that way I can sell this product. Now, again, if you're like Bashar, how do I know what kind of approvals I need? How do I know, you know what categories are ungated? How do I, you know, what if I have problems? Because not as cut and dry and what, do, you know, how do I find the right product? Well. Below this video, there's a small presentation that'll walk you through and answering those questions for you and it'll teach you even much more. So be sure to check it out. Outside of that, thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to, th to smash thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.